Hey guys, how's it going? Ken Wentworth here, your good old buddy, Mr. Biz. Hey, um, I got a question for you. I like to start these with a question, set the tone here a little bit. So hiring, right? A problem for everyone. How many of you guys have had trouble hiring good people, right? It's tough to find candidates, and then when you find the candidates, you end up going through, I've got more than one business owner that have said, hey, you know what, if I need one person, I'm gonna hire three because I know that two of them won't work out. Well, obviously that's not very efficient, right? We wanna make that better. Some of you may also know that I have talked about one of my Mr. Biz tips of the week is that to make sure you hire based on three things. Three things are the most important things when you hire someone, those are work ethic, loyalty, and character. Now, how do you measure that in a job interview? I got that question recently. Yeah, that sounds great, Mr. Biz. Great, great tip. How the heck am I supposed to figure out um, during an interview with someone that they have those characteristics in a strong way? There's a bunch of different ways you can do that, of course. Um, some of them are a little tougher than others, and some are a little, it's a little tougher nut to crack, so to speak. However, here's an idea that I've used in the past. I know it's worked really well. And by the way, these are the kind of things we cover in uh, my online course. Mr. Go out to mrbizprogram.com and check that out. mrbizprogram.com, check it out. Love to see you in the next one. So here's the tip. If you set up an interview, let's say, let's say for argument's sake, you're sitting in an office, they're going to come in and sit in a chair. What you do is, this is, a little, this is kind of funny, but I'm telling you it works and it'll tell you a lot about someone, is um, when you set, so you make it so where the door they walk into the office or the conference room or whatever it might be, put some s small piece of trash on the floor. It could be a wadded up piece of paper could even be just a little sticky note that's been wadded up, something like that. Something that for sure someone saw it and would know it's trash. Leave it in the direct path that they're going to walk into whatever room you're in, okay? And also make sure that there is a trash can within eyesight, right? So the piece of trash is not far from the trash can. But they basically have to step over the piece of trash to get to the seat that they're going to sit in while you interview them. What you're going to find out is... Do they pick the trash up and put it in the trash can that's right there? Or do they just step right over it? Like, mm, didn't even see it. Now, it's powerful because here's what you're going to find out. I know it sounds really simple, but I'm telling you, it's proven itself to be absolutely uh, truthful. Is that, generally speaking, the people who just step over the piece of trash and, and leave it there, knowing, you, knowing that they saw it for sure, and that there's a trash can right there that they can see, the people who step over it are the, that's not my job type people. When you ask them to do something, maybe a little outside of their job description, maybe a little outside, hey, would you guys mind helping me with X, Y, and Z? Mm, that's not my job. I don't know about you, I don't want those kind of people on my team, right? You want people who are willing to get after it. The person who bends down and picks it up, those are the people, generally speaking, that are willing to go the extra mile, that are, that want to, they don't look at it as like, oh, geez, this is not my job. They look at it as, look, the company needs this done, and I'm going to do it. Um, and again, I know it sounds like a really simple example, but I'm telling you, give it a shot. And I'd love to hear how it works for you because um, I've used it. I've had several of my clients use it very effectively, help you weed out some of those people. And uh, I've literally been in an interview where someone walked in and just walked, stepped over the piece of trash. I basically wrote them off from right there without even asking them a question. Um, and so that's the only thing you gotta guard against too, is uh, there could be a reason, I'm not saying to not hire someone just because of that, but I'm saying it's a strong indicator. Again, hire on character, work ethic, loyalty, very important characteristics, that's one way to measure it. Um, if these videos are good, and, or if there's something that you think someone else could benefit from this, please tag them, share it with them. Um, would love to, to try to help as many people as possible. As well as if this, these, uh, Jeez Louise, these videos have been uh, helpful or are helpful. Um, first of all, let us know any topics you'd love us to cover. Second of all, these are the kind of things we cover in my online course. Again, mrbizprogram.com, mrbizprogram.com. Go check that out. Would love to see you in the next session. You get live help from me that and work, uh, work with you to help you work your business more profitably, more efficiently, all that good stuff. Help, help you over those inevitable bumps in the road give you more time to spend in your, you know, your, your work-life balance and things like that, help you with those types of things, help you make more money, get more time in your personal life. So anyway, 
Thanks for watching, guys, as always. Um, hope you have a uh, great rest of your day, and we will talk very soon. See ya.